I am going to just really quick um, take you through. These are just all the normal 2.1 Sense apps. I don't really want to go through that. I want to explore these really quick so I don't have much time. But um, these are the T-Mobile apps that come along with this. They're kind of pointless. Some of them are kind of silly. Um, I don't know what the point of, of going through an app pack and clicking music and then looking at all the music apps that are available on the market. And it's kind of silly when I could just go to market and just do a search myself. But again, they're trying to make this really user friendly and really easy on people. Um, Android is a little intimidating. I have a lot of friends that don't really know what, what they're doing when it comes to Android. Like, what? There's a market? How do I change my background? How do I change my ringtone? It's just, it's, it's horrible. That, and they always come to me because they think I'm some sort of Android god when I'm probably one of the biggest noobs on the planet. Uh, this is going to take a little too long, so we won't go there. Um, so that's all AppPack is. AppPack is basically T-Mobile's recommendations on um, certain apps that you might find useful, like music or entertainment or something. Um, completely pointless and silly. If you click on faves here, there's a whole little... Um, I guess uh, it's it's kind of like my my faves or five faves, but you could add a, I think a few more people than that. Add from. If I had this synced to my Facebook, it would be showing all my contacts and all their pictures from their Facebook and stuff, and it's asking me to take a picture now and do all this weirdness. I don't really want to do. <clears throat> but what it is basically is just your favorite friends and stuff, the people that you contact the most. Um, when you go to your faves, you can send them a message, check their emails, you can look at their pictures and all this stuff on Facebook. Uh, it's a cool little place, I guess, to go to. I think it's kind of pointless, but I think some people would actually probably like that. Again, just all for the sake of making it a little more user-friendly. So this this whole My Faves thing does uh, use, it's kind of hard, you can't really tell right now. Uh, it does use um, a little more, um, I guess, what do you say, 3D, 3D elements from your phone. So it's not really running too well on my G1. I, I would imagine it'll work a lot better on the, um, the slide and its ARM 11 CPU. But... Um, you can kind of see the little background and stuff, and those would be all your other faves, and you just kind of scroll through them, and they all move around, and then you click on one, and it zooms in all nice and pretty-like, but uh, we won't even be able to see that. Genius Bar is something that's new and kind of cool. It allows you to just click on that, and then you can either call, send, um, call someone, send a text or email, search the web, everything, and it's all done by your voice, so it's all voice activated, which is kind of neat. Uh, I don't think it's fully working on this one. I'll just go ahead and try it. It's probably going to bog down my phone a little bit. Welcome to Genius. Oh. Use Genius to make a call, search the web, send text and email messages, find a location on a map, and much more. All right, skip. No, thank you, lady. Um, I'm going to accept Please. your thing. It's voice commands. It's voice activating the names from your contact list. So it's reading all the names from my contact list. So since I'm trying to call someone, call mummy. Mommy, call mom. Mom Chavez. Sorry, no network connection. Okay, whatever, lady. Um, but yeah, you get the gist of it. That would that would probably work a lot better on the actual device itself. Uh, there's another app here called My Device, and um, basically what this is is it's just a bunch of cool little um, setting and stuff. It gives you like the status, your ringtones and wallpapers. You actually buy some using My Device. Uh, I feel like this is kind of like um, a little more the T-Mobile apps. They kind of want you to go through them to do a lot of stuff. So they added this app for the noobs that don't know how to, I guess, search market and download ringtones and stuff for free. But uh, again, this is just some of the settings and stuff. I don't know why someone wouldn't want to go to settings and just change all this stuff. But it's kind of neat because it has a quick access to your Wi-Fi, but you could just add a widget. Um, GPS, you could just add a widget. Um, screen timeout and all that stuff. Phone info. Tips and tricks for all you super noobs and you want to rely on T-Mobile for all your information. Uh, storage and battery is kind of neat, but again, you can see all this from your settings. But uh, it adds some pretty nice little pretty colors and stuff. Oh yeah, so one more app before I forget. This is My Touch Music. Now this is probably the only uh, one of the only cool ones that are actually on here. Uh, I know you're thinking, like, what is my touch music? Like, they're probably going to forward me to, like, T-Mobile site and, um, I don't know, make me uh, buy a song or something. But actually, it's kind of not. It's it's a lot like Pandora or just, like, a normal radio station. But, of course, T-Mobile picks the song for you. And, um, I don't know, it's kind of cool. It's like you're, it's just like you're listening to the radio. So if you're ever just, uh, I don't know, at the bus stop and you just want to, like, hang out. <clears throat> 
and you have a little time to kill, it's cool because you just listen to like the top 100 songs um, up here. You have your options, auto quality, or audio quality, uh, auto shutdown delay. So uh, if you have it on pause or you exit out of it, um, after 30 minutes, it'll just close the app or so. Um, I'll just put it at five minutes. Right now we're listening to Usher and Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Yeah, that's about it. Uh, pretty cool app. I think this is one of the better ones on here. All right, and uh, T-Mobile My Accounts is is added on this by default. Of course, this is like super heavily. This whole um, My Touch slide and all this is is I guess um, T-Mobile is heavily influenced with all of this. Uh, this whole thing just screams T-Mobile like um, like no other Android handset has. So. So yeah, uh, the ROM itself on the G1 is actually pretty awesome. It's running really, really quick and really, really smooth. I'm totally loving it. I'm kind of surprised that it's actually running this well in such an early, early state. Market does not work. It'll send you through a boot loop. Not really a boot loop, but it'll send you through a loop. It'll like open and close and open and close. I'll just show you guys that. Uh, the same thing with browser. Uh, another thing also is Gmail. Uh, you will get your contact synced and all that stuff is cool and your your mail, but you won't be able to actually open up any mail because it'll just uh, do the same thing you're seeing here, kind of just looping. So that's pretty much it with this ROM. Uh, Bluetooth isn't working, uh, Wi-Fi isn't working, and um, Market, Browser. Uh, your contacts do sync and you can make phone calls. So I've been playing with it for a couple of days now just because it's, it's a lot of fun to me and I like the um, uh, how gorgeous it is. But yeah, that, that may or may not be your cup of tea. Some people don't like Sense UI. They kind of like just a vanilla ROM, but um, I think it's really awesome. Uh, another thing they kind of changed was the icons. They kind of put them on ice. <laughs> That's what one of my friends said. Uh, they have these weird little bubbles around them. Again, it's just trying to make it, I guess, a little more user-friendly. It looks a lot like the uh, iPod in the fact that um, it's just a huge, big square in the background now. So yeah, that's the My Touch slide ROM. This was from Dominuk over at XDA. Um, his Twitter will be on the the sidebar, well, at the bottom bar now. Um, go ahead and follow him for updates and stuff as far as this goes. He's going to try to fix all the stuff that's broken with it. He did an awesome job. It runs great on the G1, surprisingly. And um, I think you guys are going to like all the new additions and stuff that uh, Sense, Sense UI 2.1 and then even beyond that, the um, Espresso. This is technically Espresso and um, what the MyTouch slide might be bringing. So pretty cool little preview, guys, right? Um, go ahead and leave a comment, subscribe, rate, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.